Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Ranger Dimension, where we talk Power Rangers and action figures every single week. This episode, we are talking strictly Power Rangers, and because, um, because this week is Power Week, and they've been sh revealing some really cool stuff, I just kind of want to recap on what they've been showing. Um, so the first day of Power Week, they showed us, uh, Dino Thunder Yellow. Now, Kira's head sculpt is really, really good. Her, um... Her daggers are really cool. Her effect piece is really nice. Overall, it's a really good figure. I am excited to pick this one up. Now, the next one that they've shown was Lost Galaxy Green. Now, I am very excited for this figure because this figure um, continues the Lost Galaxy um, figures as we only have... Sorry, I have to move over here a little bit. Oh, they're up there. Uh, we only have Leo and Kai and technically the Magna Defender. So, um, I forgot his name in the show, but the Green uh, Lost Galaxy Ranger is a nice addition to the Lost Galaxy team, just like Kira from Dino Thunder Yellow, uh, kind of completes the core team until we get Dino Thunder Black, whenever that will be. Um, they also revealed, uh, Wild Force Blue, finally, they did show him like a month or so ago. Um, on their Instagram, but they never officially released him. Uh, he's up for pre-order, I want to say tomorrow. A lot of these are up for pre-order pre tomorrow. Um, they also showed the new Mighty Morphin Black figure, Black Ranger figure, which um, I'm going to have to pass on because I already have one uh, Black Ran uh, Mighty Morphin Black Ranger. So I'm going to kind of pass on that one. I'm trying not to... Um, get doubles as much as possible um they also showed the Rio Ranger which he looks pretty cool he has a lot of cool effect pieces but um at this particular time I'm not really looking to get the Street Fighter figures just because um it's not really what I'm looking for I'm more I'm collecting the lightning collection for the Rangers uh maybe down the line I might pick him up but he has a lot of cool poses like I said, he's got some really cool effect pieces, just not what I'm looking for right now. They also showed the Chun-Li Blaze Phoenix figure. Um, I think it was like the third day. Yeah, the third day of Power Week. Really cool figure, great articulation, some really cool effect pieces. Um, again, just not what I'm looking for right now in a figure. Uh, I'm going to post a picture right here if I haven't already. A uh, really cool figure. Uh, just not what I'm looking for. So moving on to the deluxe figures that they showed today on their live stream. They first they showed um, MMPR Snizzard, which is really cool figure. Um, really cool articulation, some really cool um, uh, accessories with them. Uh, here's a picture of it right here. I'll show. I'll pop a few pictures as I'm going through this. Really cool figure. I'm excited to get it. Um, some really cool fan art on the boxes. I know they've gone, um, they've done away with the plastic visor part of it, which is kind of cool. I get why they did that. Um, just something to get used to, I guess. The second deluxe figure that they showed today is Time Force Blue with his uh, Vector Cycle, which is really cool. Now, for this one, I actually had to Google an image of the Vector Cycle on, um, on Google, obviously I just said that, um, because I didn't think it had the, the mini guns on the side, apparently that's actually a legit thing. Um, again, the face sculpt looks really, really cool, I'm very happy with the way the figure looks. I can't wait till these figures are available. Now they also showed, um, future stuff that are coming in 2023, I think they might, I don't know when they plan on, you know, I know they said Monday they plan on showing us some stuff. But they showed us some digital or some weird uh, printouts of Dino Charge Blue, which I'm very excited for because I have all the Dino Charge team. Uh, I got gold, red, black, green, and then I got pink below. I kind of got to move some stuff around back there, um, but I'll do that at some other point. And then another figure that they announced was um, Beast Morphers Yellow, which as you can see behind me, I have red and blue at the moment I don't have any of the others because 
I like Beast Morphers, but I'm, nah, it's not really my thing. Um, they showed off some really cool, like, um, it was like Funko masks. They had some really cool pillows. They talked about the comics for a bit. Um, what else did they talk about? They, um, yeah, they talked comics, they talked the pillows. They had this cool little pink ranger, um, car thing. I'll put up a picture right here of it. That was pretty cool. And they also showed, um, last year they did a pink ranger morpher and it had all, like, the coins and the different little, like, pog looking things of the pink ranger. They're doing that this year except for the pink ranger. They're doing the yellow ranger instead this year. It's all going to be voiced by, um, by Aisha. Uh, I kind of wish they would have done something with Trini's voice, but that's... Mm. Um, I know there's been a lot of talk I've seen on Twitter and, and whatnot of supposedly maybe Hasbro might be cutting the, uh, the Lightning Collection. I really don't think that's the case. I was honestly really, really impressed with their presentation for their live stream today because I know the past couple haven't been the greatest. It was really cool to see them enthused and really talking about the product and showing different things and whatnot we haven't gotten that in a while so that was pretty cool um if you haven't already give this video a thumbs up leave a comment down below on what um either villain character you're waiting for or um what ranger you're waiting for that we haven't gotten already or what team are you looking forward to seeing complete what teams do you want to see them get closer i know for me personally I would like for them to complete at least SPD because all they have is um, the Yellow B Squad. Uh, now that we know that Coda is coming, I'm glad that that core team is going to be complete. I would like for them to honestly finish off Dino Thunder because now we only have one of them, uh, which is Dino Thunder Black, which I know everyone's kind of getting a little sick of Tommy, but I personally love Dino Thunder Black. Um, for future teams, I would like for them to do, um, I'd like to see Ninja Storm, I would like to see, um, Jungle Fury, there's a few teams I would like to see, um, I'm excited that, you know, Wild Force is getting done pretty quickly, uh, I didn't really watch Wild, Wild Force all that much, I've seen a few episodes, it wasn't, eh. but, um, yeah, let me know in the comments down below who you'd like to see as a villain. Who you'd like to see as a ranger come out. What teams you'd like to see either start or finish. Um, if you haven't already, uh, think about subscribing to the channel. I am getting more back into this now. I kind of took a little bit of a break because of some personal reasons. Um, I know a few of you commented on the last video saying you know, that you're glad that you know my family is safe. If you're not sure why I'm saying that, either you can go watch the last video. Or I can just tell you right now, we got to a minor car accident. Everyone's okay. Um, that's all I'm really going to say about that. If you want to know more, you can go back to the last video. Um, yeah, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Think about it. Think about joining the, uh, the Dimensional Ranger team. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Have a great day.